Hi friends, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Visual Richard. I'm found in this tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can create the account in Infinity Free and how to host your website in Infinity Free, hundred percent free with free hosting and free domain. So let's get start our video and see how we can do this. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification, and join with me. So you can reach this website from the given link in the description of this video then you need to create an account in infinity free from entering these required details after that you need to confirm your account then you all will be able to log into infinity free account that you have created then uh, click on this create account option now when it comes to here you can use their free subdomain or you can use your own custom domain in my case i have used custom domain in here so i am able to update my name savers on my domain account so you need to update these name savers uh, if you want to use a custom domain in here i'm going to subdomain option because of i have already done these things now you need to enter a site name and also you need to uh, choose a uh, domain extension from here I'm using this one because it's too easy to type on a web browser now click on search domain option then you need to enter a password and uh, you need to click on create account option now click on create account button Now we have successfully created the account in Infinity Free. Then we need to click on this client uh, area option. Now our uh, all necessary things are here. Then click on this control panel option. Now click on I Pro. Now you can see our uh, file manager and everything are loaded here. If you want to uh, open your file manager, you need to click on this online file manager option. Then your file manager will be also open. So if you want to upload your website, you need to upload your website into this file manager. So when it comes to here, you can see our file manager is successfully loaded. You can upload your website to this folder. But there is a small problem of uploading our website to here. Uh, we can't use this upload zip option because of after uploading our files to uh, this zip panel as a zip file, we can't extract that website that we have uploaded as a zip file. So we need to use this upload folder option. So here you can see here is the zip file that I want to upload into the zip panel of Infinity Free. So I need to extract this files into a new folder. Just create a new folder here. Now open that folder and extract your old files to this folder. Then press back button. Now you need to rename this folder as a docs now click on upload folder and uh, choose the folder then click on upload again then your uh, file uploading process will be started now we need to wait until completing of this process because uh, it will take some time here you can see there are uh, 1000 files uh, have to upload Okay friends here you can see our old files are successfully uploaded to the file manager of infinity free. If I open this uh, etdocs folder you can see our old files are here. 
and then uh, if I open the folder of uh, this that I have uploaded so you can see almost all the files and folders are uploaded to this infinity free at once so you can see it's too easy before continuing to the installation process we need to uh, do some changes in the cpanel of uh, infinity free because of we need to create a database here click on this mysql database option so we have a, a small problem we then we need to uh, came here again and refresh this page now click control panel once again then click on mysql database now you need to create a database here now our database creation process is also completed as the next step we need to come here once again then click on this site uh, domain you can see we have problem and uh, is showing this page isn't working so that mean we need to install this uh, script because of i have uploaded a script here so i need to install that script if i open this file manager so you can see here the installation uh, ad address so uh, this is the address that i want to continue this address may be different in your case so you can see it's working properly then we need to enter these details one by one if you want to find the uh, password of your admin panel click on this show hide option now double click on it and uh, copy this password and paste your password here also to the here and also to the uh, this option now we need to open our database and uh, find the db name this is the host name of your database you can also find that host name from here uh, oh, yes you can find it from here also now you can continue to the installation so we have a problem of entering our site address then you need to enter your site address as this one also now click on install now your website installation process is completed then you can go to your website also you can go to your admin panel from here now you can see your website is successfully installed and uh, is launched then you can uh, log into your cpanel now you can see your admin panel also is uh, successfully loaded Let's see, see how to enable SSL uh, certificate to this website. So you can see my website is uh, shows as uh, not secured one. So let's we try to fix this error also. Now once again you need to uh, go to this page and click on this free SSL certificate option. Now click on new SSL certificate. now you need to uh, enter your site address here now paste it here 
then you need to remove this http now click check domain option now click on this zero ssl option because it's the best option in here because uh, it shows as a trusted one in most of web browsers now you need to add this CNAME record so we need to click on a home and uh, go to the cPanel of our website now we scroll uh, down and uh, click on this CNAME records now click on add now you need to wait one to two hours until uh, this shows as a install message until then you need to uh, login again to the cpanel of your website and change this one into https now click on save I don't know whether it's to a website uh, HTTPS option is uh, shows in a different location or in this uh, admin panel however you can uh, change this one into HTTPS from your cPanel you can find uh, another tutorial for that process now click on this verify option then click on again uh, verify domain option so you can see it's almost taken uh, two hours now we need to wait until completing of this process this will take again uh, uh, 10 to 30 minute time after completing of this process you can easily install your SSL certificate to your website now click on install then again click on show option then you need to copy this private key into your clipboard then again go to your uh, infinity free control panel now scroll down and find SSL TLS option here then click on configure option now paste your private key here and uh, click on upload key option then again uh, come to here and copy this uh, certificate now paste your certificate here and click on upload certificate option then again you need to uh, come here once again and uh, go to free SSL certificate option then click on install again we need to wait some times until completing of this process now you can see it's completed then you can open a new tab and uh, check whether uh, is your website is working or not now you can see it's not uh, working then uh, you need to type uh, your site address as this https option then click on enter now you can see your site is successfully working with the valid certificate so with this i am going to wind up this video so i think you learn 
all the things that you need to know about this infinity free including SLA certificates installation process so thank you all for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel turn the notification at and join with me